What's up, everybody? Welcome to Whip Golf. My name is Jonathan Kang. This is Mark. So today we're going to do a course management video. I think this is perfect. We're going to show you guys a dog leg left par five, a little par three with some water, and a dog leg right par four. I'm going to be helping out the amateur today. So yeah, let's get to it. We are in the third hole here. It's a 614 yard par five. It did into the wind on this wonderful winter's day here in Southern California. So I haven't hit a driver. That's the right play, right, Jonathan? Yeah, that's the right play. You want to get it as far as you can. Um, you got a lot of room to the right. Yeah. I know the left could be rewarding, but into the wind, we're not going to really get much out of it. We're going to be in the rough. So let's aim, you know, right side of the fairway. All right, so real quick before Mark hits, he tends to hit a little bit of a, of a fade. So you guys have to know your tendencies, your natural shot shape, and also your misses. So his miss tends to be pretty big to the right. So since it's into the wind, we want to favor the right side. Let's go middle of the fairway and just let it naturally fade. Okay. Right side of the fairway. Perfect. All right, so Mark just hit it, aimed a little uh, middle of the fairway, just hit his natural fade. So we're now right here. So we've got like 360 of the hole. Obviously, there's no way for us to reach the green. So what we're doing here, as you can see, there's a trap on the right. Um, we're laying up short of the trap just to make sure, you know, we don't want to have a bunker, a long bunker shot in to a par five. Um, and also he likes to have around 115 yards in. So he's got his two iron that shouldn't reach the uh, bunker. Bunker's about 250 out. So this is perfect. No matter where he hits it, it should be in play. So let's see it, Mark. One forty-five into a pretty stiff breeze. All right, so a good rule of thumb. It's blowing about 18 miles per hour into our face, give or take. Um, a good rule of thumb for the wind is for each mile per hour, that's going to be a one yard difference, whether it's a headwind or downwind. We're going to say about once, uh, 165 just to be safe. You know, green's wide open. Always check for the wind. So the wind's going pretty much directly at us. So let's go 165 club. But since we're into the wind, always got to flight it down more. So seven iron? So let's go a little choke seven here. Okay. Back in my stance. Back in your stance. Choke down a little bit? Yep. Okay. Nice. Sit. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, money. That was nice. Any tips for downhill, downwind putts or uphill, downwind putts? Yeah, just making sure you're playing enough break. Yeah. So in putting, you know, you just got to trust it. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Easy par on a 615 yard hole. Easy par, yeah. So par three, <laughs> straight into, uh, into the wind. Wind's pushing it also right to left. It's 160, wind picked up a little bit. So we're gonna play this about 180, 85. So yeah, we got water on the right. Good rule of thumb is to never, you don't really wanna aim at the hazard because if you do hit the perfect straight shot, you don't wanna screw yourself over, right? Mark? Yes. Since your tendency is to hit it right. Yes. I want you to go right at the pin. Yeah. Because if you miss it, you're either gonna be right at it if you hit a good one, you're just gonna be just left of the pin. So let's go right at this thing. Sounds we good. You gotta flight it too, so let's hit that low shot. Mark ended up hitting a three iron uh, instead of a four just because the wind picked up a little more. But he ended up on the fringe, which is perfect. As the great Arnold Palmer once said, every opportunity you can putt it, you got to putt it. Um, a miss with the putter is going to be better with a miss than a wedge, you know, pretty much every time. So let's see you putt this one, Mark. Hit it close. That's not going to be close. But as bad as you hit it, that's not bad, you know? Far. 
420 yard par four up the hill, dog leg right. So that suits up well for Mark because he hits that big cut. So it's always important to pick out a target, right? So we, we want to pick out a small target here. So Mark, you see that uh, blue house? Yes. I like the window right there and just hitting that natural cut. Okay, All sounds right. good. So let's do that. There's trouble on the right, so that's why we're aiming a little more left. Just letting him hit his natural shot. Ended up going straight, but yeah, you know, you're, you're fine. That's better than right. Right is dead on this hole. Yeah. So Mark's got 207 left up the hill. So we're going to add about eight yards just because of the slope. Um, and also the pin is tucked left. So all we want to do, we want to hit on the fat part of the green, especially from 207 out. I would usually never go for it unless you have a wedge in your hand. And also if there's no trouble. So Mark, let's go. Fat part of the green, so let's aim about 10 yards right at that electric pole. Okay. Out in the out there. Yeah. And just hit your normal shot. Okay. All we're trying to make here is par. It's a difficult hole, so yeah, par is good on this hole. Let's hit your five. Okay. Let's play this about 195. Okay, perfect. <sighs> nice. Look at that one take it too. That's perfect. Good shot. Woo! It's money. That's pretty good. So this is going up the hill. It's going to break right in the beginning, and I think it's going to come back left. But it's going to break left more at the end. So let's go more. I would say, Let's go yeah. like a ball out. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Like yeah. with the two. Yeah, so let's yeah. go ball out okay. up the hill. You gotta hit it. Oh man. <laughs> this one should be breaking to your left though, I think. I would actually say it's probably like. Yeah, there. that's perfect. Hit it hard. Take the break out. <laughs> Breaks right. Breaks right. <laughs> oh, this pin's good, huh? All right, well. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse though, right? Yep. Generally yeah, so. speaking, a bogey is not a bad score on this yeah, hole. And you don't want to be long here, else you're screwed coming back down. Just remember, guys, in course management, always aim at the wider part of the fairway, depending on the kind of shot shape you hit. So if you hit a draw, aim for the right side. If you hit a cut, aim for the left side. Um, pick small targets. That's going to really help you zone in um, into your shot. really helps you focus instead of just going up there and trying to hit it in a, in a window. Uh, just remember the wind, how to calculate wind. Also, another thing is making sure, uh, you know, what club to hit. Just because you hit your six iron 200 yards once doesn't mean you always hit it 200 <laughs> yards, right? That's me. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, right club selection. We're trying to get the big numbers out of play. Just remember that bogeys are your friend. And uh, also just manage your expectations, you know. You don't have to hit the hero shot every time. It's just making sure you're not taking any penalties or just putting yourself in bad positions where the big numbers come into play. I hope this video helps you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, it'll really help our channel grow and hope you guys enjoy.